So now I'll pass over to Deb. Deb, again, welcome. Oh. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Deborah, Deborah, Deborah Wace, and I'm a I'm so I'm so glad to come after um, uh, Ruth's talk about connection and ways to find connection because that's very much my arts practice as well. I'm a multimedia artist. I'm a singer and a performer, um, a printmaker, and a fabric designer, and a bit of an all-around environmental rat bag at times. But <laughs> in the past, I've done that in a really raw way, protecting type localities, protecting country that is under threat. And now I'm refining that to do it in a much more sophisticated way. And I, I am really glad to have learned some, so much along the journey. What I'm going to share with you now is a, um, is a multimodal artistic collaboration that I've been directing in the form of a film called The Sartorial Naturalist. I'm a plant collector. I have a, an enormous herbarium collection that is of pressed plants, pressed for perfection for later use in um, fabric design. And the, the methods of me collecting these plants all around Tasmania with permission from private land is one of deeply looking closer and the really quiet joy that comes from looking much closer, looking deeply into a landscape and scanning for certain types of plants. And I often sing to these plants. I, it's, it's very nourishing for me. And I've wanted to find a medium to express that and, and bring people in to that um, co-creation that I feel with nature. And this film, The Sartorial Naturalist, which has been this multi-art form collaboration, um, with the help of the Australia Council, Arts Tasmania and Screen Tasmania funding and internationally recognised skilled professionals in the Tasmanian film community with um, cinematographers, post-production, a musical composition and playing, costume design and dance professionals. And together we've captured some of the beauty and uh, fragility of some of Tasmania's native flora and it's it's a genre I didn't realize there was called um, um, autobiographical fantasy. And now, <laughs> and now I know what it is. I'd love you to have a 12 minute immersion into a very beautiful exploration of botany of how I might get these plants that I'm collecting onto fabric. So please enjoy yourself for the next 12 minutes and um, I can take any questions afterwards or any explanations, but it should explain itself well enough to all of us. Thank you.
you so much, Deb. What a um, what an interlude that was, and a, um, a fabulous conversation um, in many ways artistically with some of the invitations that Ruth had for us in the first presentation. Deb's going to be joining us for the conversation uh, as it continues after after Sasha um, uh, presents with us now. Um, it's an incredibly inspiring. I'm just looking at all of the notes that are coming through the chat there, Deb, and. Uh, it's such a hard open piece. So, thank, thank you. you so much. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm 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 really grateful to have this out in the world now, um, and especially that the only language in it is Palawakani, the the reconstructing lang constructed language of Tasmanian Aboriginal peoples, and music, music and Palawakani um, feels so appropriate to express the delight and love of the wild country here. So thanks, I can speak more now, I can speak in afterwards. Yeah, great. So Deb, we will hold on to some questions and conversations with all three, with all three of you as we as we move into the like later part of the session, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, great. Thanks, Deb. Um, and so um, and yes, congratulations, Deb, coming from Victoria and many of your colleagues um, around um, and sharing in this time and encounter with us.